Hey, this is Tournament Takeaway with Fish on a Heater, the world's best mediocre battler. <laughs> um, to, this is a series where we take a look at a single Pokemon Go PvP battle and break it down, look at uh, everything to do with it uh, from uh, energy management to shield usage to matchups uh, to switching and all that. Just take, take a look at all those little decisions we make uh, in the moment and see what we can take out of it to bring into future battles, uh, hopefully build our way up that uh, Sylpharina global leaderboard and become better battlers. Um, today we are going to take a look at a battle with PT Mickey. This uh, was in the Arena Australis Colossal Catacomb Cup. So uh, if you're in Australia or New Zealand, um, check out Arena Australis. It is the hub of Pokemon Go PvP in uh, Australasia. <clears throat> Um, we, we have a lot of cool stuff going on there. Um, we have a, a gym leader Elite Four challenge going on where you can battle against like the, the best battlers in the server and, and work your way through and hopefully earn a spot in the Hall of Fame. We've got a Friday night PvP show that myself and another content creator, Dr. Trotter, host. I'll uh, chuck a link to Dr. Trotter's YouTube channel in the description. Um, it's like a, a carryover champion format where the champion picks a, a meta, a new challenger comes in, tries to, you know, knock the knock the crown off their heads in a best of five format. Uh, it's really, really cool. Um, we've got uh, monthly uh, Sylpharina tournaments, uh, both in smaller lobbies and a server-wide one, which is this Colossal Cup. Uh, we've also got, uh, it was um, uh, a place where we all got behind, like, the, the continental um, representatives from uh, Australia and New Zealand when uh, the Continentals ha uh, happened. So yeah, really, really cool place for just all the, the PvP enthusiasts to congregate. Anyway, uh, I'll chuck a link to, to that um, that server in the description as well. So if you're from Australia and New Zealand, um, uh, Australia or New Zealand, I don't think you'd be in both, <laughs> then um, uh, definitely check that Discord server out. Anyway, so this was from the uh, Catacomb Cup the Colossal Cup in Arena Australis. Uh, you might notice, if you're looking at uh, both of our teams, um, my Pseudo Wudo has a great um, matchup against pretty much all of those Pokemon. Uh, Jumpluff, of course, beats the Pseudo Wudo, and Vesper Queen can actually beat Pseudo Wudo if it's got two shields. But apart from that, uh, Pseudo is a great Mon uh, against this team, so I decided to lead with it. And I got met with the jump off, so not a great start for me. Um, so actually, let's unpause that. Um, I didn't switch it out straight away. Um, obviously, in a if you're stuck in a bad matchup, you do want to get it out of there. But what I did first is uh, counter it a few times before switching it out. There were two reasons for that. One was that um, I've, I've explained in a previous video that pseudo wudo coming into a battle when they've got less shields and also you know when it has a bit of an energy lead in this cup is so dangerous um so just having those extra counters worth of energy in store uh, would have really helped the other thing was that i wanted to try and catch the energy ball um I, I was timing it so that i wanted to switch out the moment pt mickey threw their their energy ball to catch it on a pokemon that it wouldn't do much damage to because uh, what that does is um, stops you from having to use a shield or lose your Pokemon. Um, if the energy ball hits Pseudo Wudo, obviously it's going to go uh, pretty close to, to going down. Uh, um, or if I use that shield, then that's, I'm already at a one shield disadvantage uh, off the bat. So I timed it for when I thought Mickey was going to uh, fire the energy ball, but I was wrong. Uh, Mickey was waiting for that. Mickey knew, because like... This is a, among Sylpharina battlers, this is a, a fairly common tactic, um, catching a charge move. So, um, Mickey, Mickey kind of expected that and waited for me to switch and now throws the aerial ace, which is going to do a lot more damage, then switches out. So, um, the Graveler, that was an interesting pick because Jumpluff still beats uh, Graveler. Um, but when, when you think about it, uh, we've, we've identified that our Pseudo Wudo is good against their team, and that Jumpluff is their only Pokemon that can, you know, reliably take the Pseudo Wudo down. So, 
uh, they, of course, Mickey would want to switch out that jump off and bring in another Pokemon. And of these Pokemon in his team, probably the Graveler is is the one that would give my jump off the most trouble there. So uh, brings it out, and I wanted to, <laughs> like I said, Sidowoodo, uh, when the opponent doesn't have shields, big, you know, big factor there. So I wanted to try and burn those shields sooner rather than later. So I went with the shield bait. I went with Aerial Ace trying to burn that shield, obviously slightly lower energy cost, which Mickey calls. So that is uh, a big deal to start off with because now I've just wasted, uh, what is that, like three, four bullet seeds, four I think, um, and, and done not much to it. Uh, I'm, I'm at, you know, not much uh, energy left. And now the gravel has got a whole bunch of uh, energy itself. Now, it fires this rock blast. And now suddenly, we've just talked about how, um, you know, jump up beats Graveler quite easily. But now, because, you know, uh, Mickey predicted that I would try and throw the aerial ace, or just didn't care if the Graveler went down, that's another possibility. Uh, either way, now I my jump up is in a lot of trouble. So when I get up to this energy ball, I don't have I don't have time to try and bait again. So I just go straight for the energy ball, which Mickey lets through. So that kind of indicates to me that yeah, I don't think Mickey cared whether the Graveler survived <laughs> this encounter or not. So out comes the jump off again, and guess to an area lace before I can get to mine, which at this point the jump off is at such low health that getting to my own Aerial Ace would not have really made much of a difference. Like the, the Aerial Ace does, you know, that much of a, a health bar that's that big. So it wasn't worth spending a shield to do that little damage to the opponent. But that means, interestingly, we've gone this far into the battle and still neither of us has used a shield. So now, um, what are we going to bring out next? Obviously, we have... Uh, we've established that Sudowoodo has great matchups against all the other Pokemon, so there's a decent chance that whatever Mickey's got in the back, we've, at the moment we know Jumpluff, we don't know what that, that other Pokemon is, but there's a decent chance that the Sudowoodo is going to be good against that Pokemon. So it's better for us to bring out the Umbreon as a, a much more neutral matchup. And that saves Sudowoodo for whatever is in the back there. Now, we're hoping during this battle that Mickey decides to use shields because, like we said, we want that Sudowoodo to come out when there's no shields. And Mickey does use one, right? So, um, like we said, Sudo beats all of those Pokemon except Vespaqueen when it's got two shields. Now that Mickey's used one, we're feeling pretty confident about our Sudowoodo. So now the, the slugfest continues. This energy ball is doing a decent amount of damage. Foul play getting jump off into the yellow. And now the switch out. So now it gets interesting. So we've got the pseudo wudo in the back. We switch out immediately. Um, and it's got a rock slide charged up now. Uh, obviously a better matchup against the Umbreon. Uh, so Mickey would have realized that he's he's unable to get the matchups the way he wants them, right? So uh, that jump off, he wants that to go in against the Pseudo Wudo. Because uh, he knows that, you know, the Umbreon isn't going to be uh, very effective against Pseudo, especially in the very, very late game, right? So... He wanted to try and protect that jump off to try and get it in against the pseudo auto. Um, obviously, in this particular situation, that's going to be really, really difficult. Um, so, I mean, gave it a go, just threw caution to the wind and, and brought out the Umbreon, knowing that the pseudo would probably come out, which it does. Throws the rock slide, doesn't get the shield, so we're still at 2 1 shields. Foul play still goes unshielded, but I know I'm not going to be able to tank another one, so I do shield this. And I 
And the reason why I finally use a shield is because um, I, I need this Umbreon to go down at this point. Uh, Sudowoodo isn't going to stand up too well against Jumpluff, especially when it's got a shield in hand. So uh, this Sudowoodo's job at the moment is to take out the Umbreon. Once it's done that, it can clock off and go home. Um, you know, have a have a cup of coffee, um, uh, say hi to its wife, <laughs> um, greet the children, you know, put its feet up after a hard day's work. But it needs to get that job done first. What I also did there, which you might have noticed, I might actually back that up a bit. So use that shield there. I also, as an attempt to get a little further ahead, built up more energy than I needed to to um, to throw that rock slide. Now, the rock slide isn't actually going to be the thing that does uh, the most damage against the Sunbrown. Uh, it, this is one of those rare matchups where the fast move is the one you're relying on. Um, counter is going to be doing a lot more damage over time than rock slides will. So I'm just happy to keep on punching, 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 and building up more uh, energy so that uh, when the Umbreon goes down, I've got another rock slide that I can throw at the jump off. That's important because at the moment, I've got Umbreon in the back and it doesn't have that much health left. Uh, jump off, I know that jump off wins that matchup. So I wanna weaken that jump off, uh, his jump off first as much as I can before my own Umbreon comes out to try and finish the job. I finally get out a rock slide at the moment just before I think they're going to throw a charge move and I just just don't make it to the rock slide for the jump up in time. So what do I do here? I have one shield left. I have an Umbreon that is, uh, I think it's it's hit the red by now. It's pretty low HP. I think it might be just before it hits the red. Um, so, and uh, what, what's he got? He's got uh, just this jump luff left, I believe. Yeah, the, the Umbreon's gone down, so it's just this jump luff and a shield, okay? <clears throat> so, if I shield this move, uh, it, it's, it's totally possible that... Uh, it's going to be a shield bait, right? Because Mickey also wants me to get rid of my shield. That, uh, yes, the jump off does beat the Umbreon, but it's a very close match up there. And when we've got one shield each, that makes it a little bit murkier, right? So Mickey wants to get rid of my shield. So is he go going to try and bait me into using the shield prematurely? So what are the options here? If I shield here... I managed to get off my rock slide, which will burn Mickey's last shield. I'm not going to get to another rock slide before Mickey can get to another energy ball. And what's worse, because the energy ball builds up so much faster than the rock slide, Mickey also has time to build up a little extra energy before firing its, its energy ball to faint the Siddlewater. And that means it can get to the next energy ball even quicker against Umbreon, and my Umbreon's going to go down. Um, so, very very dire situation, I guess, right? For for me, like so by by shielding, I'm allowing him to to get up enough energy to close out that battle. If I don't shield, and it is an energy ball, my pseudo Wudo goes down, and now we've got Umbreon against uh, jump off, both with a shield each, but me with lower health. So that's not looking very good for me either because I'm, I'm quite likely going to lose that one. Obviously, um, I the other thing that Bear's mentioning is that I had a foul play and a half built up on the Umbreon already. So that's going to give me a bit of a head start in that race and that evens it up again. But that, that doesn't mean I'm winning, it just means it's a, a much closer battle and we're not sure <laughs> how it's going to end up. But if I leave this charge move, let it go through, and it turns out to be Aerial Ace, that's big because the, the Rock Slide can go through 
I, I can then fire the rock slide, which is going to take the other uh, shield off of the jump off. Or Mickey lets that go and it's on really low health and suddenly like it's not going to stand up. Like it might even be able to f be farmed down by counters or um, or um, uh, the foul plays. Oh, snarls. That's the, <laughs> that's the word I was looking for at that stage, right? So letting it letting it through and it turning out to be an aerial ace was my biggest win condition, right? Let's see what happens. Bam, I leave it and it's an aerial ace and that's the game won. So I throw my rock slide, we get that last shield and I just come straight out with the uh, Umbreon because I don't want to give Mickey the opportunity to build up more energies. I, I just want to get straight out and fire that foul play which takes off about half of Jumpluff's remaining health, and we get to another foul play with the shield still in hand. So yeah, we got, um, I wanna say we got a bit lucky there, but it's, uh, I don't, I think saying we got lucky is a bit unfair to be honest, cause like we, we made a good call there. We, we, we were able to analyze in that last moment um, what the possibilities were and what would have happened uh, for the rest of the battle given a, a bunch of different scenarios. And we made the call that turned out to be the best one for us. And it, it enabled us to ensure that that battle was a win. That was a really exciting battle and I, I thank Mickey for it. Um, we, we ended up doing pretty well in that tournament. We went uh, five and two. Uh, so definitely, uh, I, th I think it's been our best result. No, sorry, no, we went uh, five and one in that tournament. So uh, yeah, that was only one loss for that one. So yeah, really good performance there. Um, it was a great month for me, and uh, yeah, that, thanks Mickey for that. Um, if you like what you're seeing here, if you're learning from this, then make sure to hit the uh, follow button or subscribe button or whatever it is. I get confused now. The yeah, I think subscribe on YouTube. I also do, I'm saying that because I also do Twitch uh, streaming. So uh, if you want to head to Twitch, subscribe in on YouTube and then head to Twitch. There's a link in the description. Um, I stream every Tuesday and Sunday night at the moment and hit the follow button there. If you want to hit the subscriber button uh, there too, then that would be even better. But, you know, um, following is enough. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> um, uh, de definitely check me out there Tuesdays and Sunday nights at the moment subject to, to change um, and it's it's just hang out just uh, have some battles it's it's a fun time um, hopefully um, you guys can learn from this build your ranking and I'll see you next time